have an idea. What if I share with you my experience in San Antonio's Rodeo 2019? Welcome to my channel. I'm Chanel with Save Sell Chanel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is dedicated to the different ways I save and sell one day at a time. So let's get into it. So I went to the Rodeo, San Antonio Rodeo earlier this year, and I haven't got a chance to edit that video. Today I wanted to share with you my experience going to the San Antonio Rodeo. One of the ways I was able to save on going to the San Antonio Rodeo was that my company that I work for gave me two free tickets. It allowed me to go to the rodeo and to watch the concert. So let's watch some video of some of the events. So one of the ways that you can save if you're going to the San Antonio Rodeo, if you're not really interested in going to any concert and you think it's pricey, definitely just buy a rodeo ticket. This way you can walk the grounds and watch some concerts within the rodeo itself. There are also some free events that you can walk through, whether it's going to be checking out the zoo, checking out some of the uh, events. And I would highly recommend if you are on a budget, make sure that you walk around the grounds first and compare prices on food. The most expensive thing that you're definitely going to spend money on will be the food and the drink. A lot of the vendors will have similar food items, so definitely make sure you are going around and comparing the items as well as seeing kind of what the food portions are at the different booths. If you're just trying to get into the spirit of the rodeo and just want to walk around, you are more than welcome to do so. You can also go in one of the buildings and see some of the vendors and walk around. If you're on a budget, one of the ways that you can save is just by walking around the grounds and checking out all the different vendors and really being mindful of how you're spending your money. But there's so much that you can do just by getting an entry ticket into the rodeo. All right. in early to make sure that you are watching all of the different events prior to the concert. It's mostly going to be the actual rodeo. They bring us that good looking video that kind of kicks it off and all of that action. And it is really just preluded to the excitement that grows throughout our day. When I tell you that we love to have you get involved, always remember all the noise you want to make. It is perfectly legal to do so anytime you see something that kind of excites you right out here. Boy, they do a nice job of getting this off, you know that? What do you say? We say hello to one of the great traditions in San Antonio. And welcome to Fair County Palomino Patrol. 
Ladies, ladies. joining us today from California. We got a few of them that are here. I'm going to come from outside the state of Texas. Nice to have you here. Let's go to Big Sky. into the stadium prior to the concert just keep in mind that they will actually look into your bags and make sure they won't allow any outside food or drink within the stadium they kind of force you to eat the food that's in the AT&T center so keep that in mind you don't want to have a large portion of food from the rodeo have to dump it and then you can't go into the stadium so you don't want to waste your money doing that so I want to hear from you have you been to the San Antonio rodeo or have you been to a rodeo before what are some of your money saving tips leave it in the comment section down down below I'd love to hear from you and if you like this video hit the like button hit subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of all of my future videos I will be posting more San Antonio event videos on how you can save while checking out different events within the San Antonio area so definitely make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell icon to be notified of all of my future videos so until next time I'll see you in my next video it feels like that I'm always but Texas is